Hello everybody, welcome back to the 2018 Granny Square Crochet Along. Today we are making this lovely diamond in a square. square, And um, it's got this lovely diamond going on in the middle. Um, not always easy to see that in the middle there. Um, but it's this open part, this, um, sorry, this closed in work here um, going in this diamond shape. Um, in the middle there and a um, nice nice lot of open work here going on um, sort of mesh effect so nice and simple to work up um, you can do it obviously in more colors than this if you wish um, but it does work lovely in one color so grab your yarn and your hook and let's get started Okay, so you want to start with a chain four and a slip stitch. Um, you could use the magic ring, but I don't really advise that today because you want this center circle. Um, this is a square that does need a bit of pulling out to shape it. If you um, if you pull the center in too far, it will just sort of buckle up. Can you see that happening happening already? So. Um, the magic circle is great but for this one um, it is a good idea to start with a center center ring so chain four or even five um, is not a bad number to go with I'm doing four as per pattern and slip stitch into that first chain Okay, so we're now going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and that counts as a double crochet and a chain two. And then you're going to do a double crochet into the ring. Chain five. Double crochet into the ring. And chain two and then double crochet chain five double crochet chain two double crochet chain five and double crochet chain two Oops. what did I do there let's try that again okay so double crochet chain two double crochet chain five And then we are going to slip stitch into the third chain of our starting chain. So one, two, three, and that will leave two chains for your chain two. So, do that slip stitch. There we go. So you have basically um, four. Uh, four sets of two double crochet separated with a chain two and a chain five at the corners. Okay. And I thought I stopped the camera recording and I didn't. <laughs> um, okay, so you're now going to, for round two, chain uh, three, one, two, three. And that counts as our first double crochet. And then you're going to do two double crochet into this chain space just here. Two double crochet. Oops. There we go. And a double crochet into the next stitch. And then into your corner, you're going to do three double crochet. Two. 
and then you're going to chain five I know this sounds a lot but don't worry and then another three double crochet one two three double crochet okay and then you're going to repeat this around so you're going to do a uh, along here you're going to do double crochet in the stitch then two double crochet in the space and a double crochet in the stitch so one then two and then one and then in your corner you're going to repeat what you've done and do three double crochet chain five three double crochet all the way around and when you get back to the beginning you are going to slip stitch in the top of your first chain three and here we go at the end of round two and you can probably see it starting to sort of pull in a bit at the sides um, don't worry too much about that because um, the further on we go um, the more it will um, flatten out um, so just don't pull your center ring in um, tight I know even when you do a chain four you can pull it in a certain way just don't pull it in um, because it will pull the rest in even more okay so round three, we are going to chain three as our first double crochet. And then you're going to do a double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, three. Okay. And then you are going to skip two double crochets and in your sorry excuse me there um, okay chain two and then skip these next two double crochets and then do a double crochet in your next one that's your last one on that side and then you're going to do a chain two and in your corner one double crochet chain five and one double crochet and again i know chain five sounds a lot for this but remember this square is very open there's lots of open open work on here okay so you're then going to chain two and we're going to work back out what we've done here so we're going to do that in reverse so we've done chain two and then we're going to do a double crochet in the next double crochet so the first one on this side so the first one and then chain two skip two stitches and then do four double crochet along one two three and four so the four double crochets you're doing are these middle four here the one that's in your double crochet the two in the middle in the chain space and the one in this double crochet okay and then you're going to chain two skip two and work a double crochet in that last double crochet chain two double crochet chain five and a double crochet so you're going to repeat this along the last two sides just get this double crochet done you're going to repeat this along your last two sides you're going to do a chain two right now and then go into your first double crochet and then you're going to chain two skip two do your next four chain two skip two into the last double crochet and then do your corner as before and work your way around and slip stitch into your top chain that you started with and i will see you at the end of this round okay so that's the end of round three the best thing when you're making the square is to actually just give it a little stretch and a little, uh, little flatten at the end of each round just to 
help it on its way and not expect it to sort of do the whole flattening flattening thing at the end um the whole at the end of the, the complete square and that's quite helpful on um a lot of squares um it's quite helpful to just give it a bit of a um a stretch with your fingers um at the end of each round anyway just to help it on its way a bit um yeah so okay um round four we are going to chain five and this counts as a double crochet and a chain two and then we are going to skip two stitches and do a double crochet in the next stitch so remember um, a lot of the time when we're making these squares they become symmetrical um, so you can see we've got a double crochet in this first one here well that's our chain and then we're skipping to and we've got a double crochet in the last one so it's going to be as if you could fold this in half and it will be identical each side or fold it this way and it will be identical top and bottom so that's quite useful to remember when you're going around um, that it is um, the same, it's just sort of reverse on each side. So, we are now going to chain two and we're going to skip our chain space here and do a double crochet in our next double crochet. And then we're going to do that again, so chain two skip your chain space and do a double crochet in your double crochet and then chain two and then we're going to do seven double crochets in our corner space seven one two three four five and seven double crochet so now we're going to mirror along this side what we've done here so we worked along this way so we're going to mirror that coming back along this side so we are going to do a chain two double crochet in the next double crochet which is this very first one here So we did a chain two before our seven double crochets and then we're going to do a chain two and a double crochet in the top of the next double crochet chain two double crochet in the top of the next double crochet chain two double crochet in the top or skip two and double crochet in the top of the last double crochet of that set there chain two double crochet in the next double crochet chain two double crochet in the top of the next double crochet chain two and then you're back to doing seven double crochets in your corner and then you will repeat this same sequence of chain two in then uh, double crochet chain two double crochet along and um, then when you get back around here um, I'll join you to do your slip stitch so if you need a reminder just rewind the video a couple of minutes to follow this side along and then you can repeat that around I'll see you in a moment okay when you're back around um, the side that you started back to your starting chain you're going to slip stitch in the third chain up or the third chain along because it's um we did five so this one just here do your slip stitch and then you'll be making your double crochet and chain two and that is the end of round four looking rather lovely rather lovely there we go nice and airy lightweight you could use this to loads of things actually um be interesting to know what you're using your squares for are you all making blankets or are you making cushions or bags it would be
be interesting to know. In the group, we have the photo albums and um, we have an album of um, completed projects. So some people doing a project a month, some people doing um, uh, a project for two months or however long, um, however big they want their, their um, item to be. So it'd be great to um, see what you're making with these. Okay, um, I don't know how I zoomed in there. Um, sorry about that. It was a bit sort of up here at the camera. Um, and oh my gosh, have you ever, ever had yarn touching your foot and feeling like a creepy crawly? I just had all this dangling and um, touching my foot and it felt like I had something crawly on my foot. Um, oh gosh, not nice. If you've ever had that happen, you have my sympathy. Not nice at all. Um, okay. Let's get back to this square. Round five, the penultimate round. We have one more round after this. I'm surprising myself using big words. I know. <laughs> I'll say it before anyone else does. Okay, so slip stitch over into your chain space. Into your chain space. There we go. And you're going to do a chain two, which counts as a half double crochet. And then make another half double crochet, oops, half double crochet in that same space. And then you're going to do two half double crochet in each chain space along. So two in this one, two in the next one. two in the next one and then you are going to do two oh sorry you're going to do a half double crochet in the second double crochet so skip this first one and do a half double crochet in the next and then you're going to do you're going to skip the next stitch and then in this third one which is your center corner stitch you are going to, uh, where are we, one, two, three, four. You're going to do a two half double crochet. Sorry, I have the um, uh, draft pattern, so it's slightly different to um, how we're working now. So I'm having to sort of just work out a couple of things. <laughs> okay, so two half double crochet, chain two, and then two more half double crochet in that very same stitch. Uh, that's one, so one more. Okay, if you didn't quite catch that, two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets in your center stitch of your corner. And then you're going to skip the next stitch and do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next stitch and two half double crochets in your chain space. And you're going to do this all the way along, not working into the double crochets, but just working into your chain spaces along. So one, two, three, four, five, six spaces left along that side two half double crochets in each and then you're going to skip a stitch half double crochet skip a stitch do your corner of two half double crochets chain two two half double crochet skip a stitch half double crochet skip a stitch and then work back along into your chain spaces if you need a reminder just rewind the video a couple of minutes and follow along what we've just been doing and I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay, that's the end of my round five. You're just going to slip stitch into the top of your um, your chain two. So just go into the top chain there. And you can see this is laying much, much flatter now. Much flatter, it's not all bunching up. So. How lovely is this looking? Nice and open and a bit sort of trellis-like. Um, really nice, summery, um, airy square. 
Um, if it's not summer where you are, then I do apologise to keep mentioning the sun. This is England, this is Britain. We don't see a lot of sun. And when we do, it tends to be a bit too hot. So, but as someone reminded us, we'll all be moaning about it being cold soon. So, um, make the most of it while we can. Okay, so... The next round is our last round, if it's the right size for you. Um, sometimes our patterns say optional for size or, um, you know, whatever. Um, so that's the same with this one. It doesn't say optional, but obviously the whole thing is optional. So whatever you want to do, whatever you um, whatever you decide to do. This round could not be more simple. It is a single crochet into every stitch. So you will start with a chain one just to bring your your um, hook up to the right height. Um, and then you'll do a single crochet into that first stitch and in every stitch along. And in your corner chain two space, this space here, you will do two single crochet chain one two single crochet and that is as simple as that round is that is the last round it just kind of gives us a bit more of a stable um, border and just adds on that little bit more for size if your square um, needs to be a bit bigger than that you could do half double crochets again use the same thing in the corner two half double crochet chain one two half double crochet um, or you could just do two single crochet rounds, whatever takes your fancy. So um, I'm going to do a single crochet round and then I will get back to you. Okay, when you get back round to the beginning, you want to slip stitch into your first stitch. Not your chain, but your first stitch. And then fasten off. And that is that that is our lovely diamond in a square finished unless of course you're doing a couple of extra rounds or whatever you need to do for your size so <clears throat> there we go look it's laying quite flat now and um, we can just square it out a bit with our fingers turn that this way the fan keeps trying to blow that piece of yarn so let's just pull this out a little bit more, shape it a little, and there we go, diamond in a square. Lovely, beautiful, nice and open, and um, yeah, quite a lovely square. So if you found this useful and helpful and you've enjoyed crocheting along with me or just watching, if you're like me and you're just watching crochet videos for some inspiration, then um, please click that like button and give us a thumbs up and um, hit the subscribe button to find out when we've got our new videos up one every day and um, join the Facebook group if you haven't already come and show us your photos of your beautiful squares and um, the things you make with your squares we'd love to see that too so um, yeah any comments or questions leave them below or in the group too and until next time, just keep cooking and don't let your tea get cold.